Hi guys, my Rose Steel here of Fashion Steel NYC, and welcome back to my channel. Do not forget to give your girl a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel videos. All right guys, so I have a very fun video for you all today. It is officially tourist season, which means my birthday is right around the corner and I could not be more excited. I have a birthday haul for you all. I'm showing you my very first Chanel bag. I have a double Chanel unboxing for you all. I finally got something off my wish list. Thanks to Farfetch. This video is in partnership with Farfetch. You guys know I love Farfetch. It's one of my favorite places to shop online. If you've never heard of Farfetch, it's literally like a conglomerate of tons of boutiques all across the world where you can buy from just one site at Farfetch. So normally if like I can't find something online or if it's sold out in my area, I just go to Farfetch and I can definitely find it somewhere else. Maybe it's somewhere in London, maybe it's somewhere in Brazil, but I can always get it at Farfetch. So definitely check them out. I do have a code for you all. It is 10 YT, as in YouTube, Monroe, all capital letters. I'll put it down in a pinned comment and in the description box. If it's your first time shopping at Farfetch, you can get 10% off. There are a few terms and conditions and exclusions, so make sure to read those terms and conditions down below in the description box. But definitely just go ahead and open up the tab on Farfetch before this video gets started and try and use my code. Hopefully it will work and you can get something for yourself this summer. I also have my very own edit over on Farfetch, so so if you and I have similar styles, if you love all the things that I show in my hauls, my luxury hauls, and my style videos, definitely check out my edit over on Farfetch. I've linked it down below. I usually update it with things that I'm loving from the website. So yeah, if you want the 411, definitely check out that edit. So without further ado, we're just gonna hop right in we're gonna start with my outfit of the day because it's fashion first over here you guys and everything i'm wearing today is from farfetch and i also like did a little order of things so i could style these two chanel things i've gotten in so that'll be towards the end of the video make sure you watch all the way to the end so starting with my outfit of the day i am wearing my favorite lip which is ColourPop limbo i'm actually pretty sad because it's Pretty much gone, y'all. I wish they would restock. Anywho, I'm wearing one of my fave pair of Chanel dangle earrings. This top is new in from Farfetch. It is from the brand Stella McCartney or the designer Stella McCartney. I love Stella McCartney. She's all about being sustainable and I love that when it comes to fashion. Like, look at this top, you guys. It is a knit, ribbed, kind of like a tank top almost. It's a very kind of light knit with a good amount of stretch. And what drew me to this top is definitely this pattern here on the bust. Lots of brands are doing this and I really think it's just a cool little accent. Very, very nice. This actually comes in a few different colors. This is like a blush pink. I think they have it in like a cream, a blue, a yellow. I think they even also have this in a dress. So if you're looking for something like this, I will link this down below. Don't forget to use my coupon code. Also, I will link a few other favorites from Stella McCartney because she's killing it. She is. Now for my bottoms, I am wearing Margiela shorts. I know they look kind of like a denim skirt, but it's actually shorts. But the way the pleats are made on these, it just really makes them look almost like a midi dress. You guys know that I love Margiela. I feel like all of my Margiela pieces that I've owned, I actually got off Farfetch. They make the best denim. I mean, denim that's just really cool, really trendy, really edgy, not something you see every day. And these are almost like a denim culotte. I got my normal size, which is a, I think Italian 42. And they fit perfectly. I love how this looks. I will link them down below. Hopefully they still have them available. If you're looking just to kind of see what other kind of things Margiela have, I'll pop up a photo here of me wearing 
one of my favorite pair of Margiela jeans. They look very 70s and the denim is substantial. It's really amazing quality. It's definitely pricey, but worth the money. I'm sure I'm gonna get every bit of my cost per wear out of all of my Margiela pieces. And for the shoe, I went with my new favorites, these Cult Gaia Renee sandals. I've gotten so many questions about these sandals, um, asking me to do a review. Just buy them. They're amazing. They're true to size. It took me about a day to get used to walking in them, but there is a specific way you have to walk in them so you don't feel like you're falling. Um, but they are amazing. They're actually really very comfortable and I would recommend them to everyone. So that is my outfit of the day from Farfetch. Again, I got this outfit because it's gonna kind of go with what I have here in these Chanel boxes. So without further ado, I know I've been making y'all wait. I hope y'all didn't skip ahead. Let's get into what I got from Farfetch. Now, if you don't know, Farfetch does have a pre-owned Chanel section on their website and it is absolutely amazing. They have pre-owned Chanel jewelry, accessories, ready to wear, bags. Yes, they also have bags. So if you didn't know that, definitely head on over to the Chanel section on Farfetch and check it out. I'm actually gonna link a few of my favorite pre-owned Chanel pieces that they have on the website right now. Down below in the description box, it would behoove you to hurry up and check them out because I feel like it doesn't last long. The things that are pre-owned Chanel on Farfetch, they do not last long. But what's great about it is, again, there are so many boutiques across the world that are on Farfetch. So even if you're looking for something that's super rare, chances are you'll find it. Just like me. Okay guys, without further ado, let's just get into it. If you watched my 2021 wish list video, you probably already know what's in here. Yes. You guys, I finally got my hands on a pair of oversized sunburst pre-owned Chanel earrings from the 90s collection. I think this is from the early 90s collection. I wanna say 92, 93. Ugh, look at this box. This is the original box from the 90s, you guys. Like, I even smelled it, and it smells like it's from the 90s. Like, that's how you know it's real. It comes in this beautiful box. There's a little bit of old, like the original Chanel tissue paper with sticker. <laughs> oh my god you guys they are stunning you know what i deserve these like it's my birthday and i worked hard i worked hard all, all 2020 and all 2021 so far and look at them now when i saw these on the farfetch website you guys I had to do a double take. Like I couldn't believe it. I'm just so excited to finally have these in my arsenal. Okay, let's talk about them. I already told you uh, the era they're from. Oh, and you know what I love about Chanel, especially older Chanel, is that it's weighty. I mean, they're not so heavy that I can't wear them in my ear, but they, they got some weight to them. I mean, ugh. Look at that CC and those little sunburst striations. Or striations. Ugh. You guys. They are clip on. Most earrings from the Chanel era of that time are clip ons. They're costume jewelry. But just the craftsmanship of older Chanel pieces really just can't even compare to the costume jewelry that Chanel puts out now. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna put them on for you guys. They do come in like this beautiful little velvet box and then the velvet has like a little clip here so you can actually clip the earrings into it. Really nice. These actually came all the way from, I feel like they came from Tokyo and they got here in record time. Like. That's what I love about Farfetch. Anytime you order something, it comes 
so quickly, like no matter where it's coming from, like two to three days tops and you have your items. So let's go ahead and pop these on. Like I said, even though they're substantial with the weight, they're not heavy at all. Like I have heavier earrings than this for sure. Oh my goodness. You guys, I'm complete, okay? I am complete. Look at these earrings. Oh, look at them. Oh my God. You guys, literally, I just got these in the mail today. I was waiting for them to come from the DHL man so that I can film this video. Oh, they're everything. Everybody's worn these earrings from my girl Riri to Cassie to just, ugh. I've been looking for these earrings for like four years. And now I finally have them. Thanks to Farfetch. Farfetch, you are the one. Ugh. Whew. Hmm. If they have any more of these on the Farfetch website and I can find them for you guys, I will link them down below in the description box. Otherwise, I would just link a ton of other like jewelry, accessories, bags and ready to wear from the pre-owned Chanel section and you can just have a field day. Now, I think I've kind of become a Chanel collector of sorts because I absolutely love these and I actually really love a lot of the accessories like belts and jewelry pieces from the early 90s of Chanel. I do have a vintage Chanel belt that I bought pre-owned as well from I think the 93 season collection. That's actually, it was worn by, what's her name, Claudia Schiffer? I might be wrong, I might be right. I don't know, girl. That belt and these earrings are from the same almost like two to three year period. And so y'all know, I'm about to be Chanel iced out, like. <laughs> now that I have that belt and I have these earrings, I have a feeling it's like started an obsession. I'm gonna start collecting, like I, I can feel it. Not so much bags, but definitely Chanel jewelry and accessories from the early 90s. I gotta have all of it now. Sound off below if this is what you thought I got. I know a lot of you have been eagerly awaiting this video, but oh, so good. Okay, Farfetch is the one. Now, let's go ahead and get into my first ever, ever in life, guys, my first ever Chanel bag. Now, this bag is also pre-owned. I actually bought this bag back in March? Is St. Patrick's Day in March? Whatever day St. Patrick Day is in, whatever month that is, that's the month I bought this bag. Now, this is my first ever Chanel bag, so I had to consult my Chanel fairy godmother, Janae of Hilo Lux, before I made <laughs> this purchase. When I told her that I was thinking of buying my first Chanel bag, she pretty much said, welcome to the dark side. She wanted a photo, she wanted to see, she wanted to know how much it cost. I sent her all the details. And being the wonderful friend she is, she actually took a few moments out of her life to research my bag, research the market for the size of my bag, for the addition of my bag, compare it to bags that are already in store presently, and come back and let me know if it was a worthwhile purchase. To which she gave me my blessing. She told me I was getting it for a steal and a deal, even though it was still a lot of money, and that I should buy it with the quickness. Also, because it was on sale for St. Patrick's Day, I got an extra 500 bucks off. And so with that, I went ahead and hit the pay button. I bought this pre-loved Chanel Butte and I sent it to New York. <laughs> now, I actually got this from a luxury consignment store here in Miami. Although I did purchase it online, I sent it to New York basically to avoid paying tax, taxes on it here. It would have been like 7% and technically, your girl lives full time in New York. So I avoided that. I sent this bag to New York, had my housekeeper accept it for me. And when Rose 
came down here to shoot our Something by Saji Times Monroe Steel collection. She dropped by my place, she picked this up. She flew with it down to Miami and she handed it to me. So this bag has been on a journey. And to be honest, I already wore it a whole bunch of times, y'all. But I had to wait for this video to show it to you, okay? So don't be mad. Let's get into it. I'm pretty sure this is not the original box. Like I said, it is pre-owned. I actually think this bag is either from the 2018, one of the 2018 or 2019 collections. So it's fairly new-ish to me. You guys, say hello to Nelly, my new bag. Now I named her Nelly because basically it's Chanelly. She's gorgeous. I'm not, like I said, this is my first Chanel bag, so I don't know a lot about Chanel bags. I mean, I think this is a flap. It's, I think it's the medium size. Don't get me the line, y'all. I have no idea. But it is a gorgeous, multicolored tweed bag. It does have that quilted stitching on it, like most classic Chanel bags have. This one is just a lot more durable because it is, kind of like tweed. It has a bunch of different colors in it that I absolutely love. It has lavender, it has orange, it has white, it has baby blue, it has navy blue, it has a twinges of yellow. And that's why I love this bag so much because I have a ton of shoes that could go with any of these colors. To me, this is basically a neutral and it's stunning. It has like this multicolored iridescent CC with the little twist cap there to open. It also has that same feature here at the top where the chain handles come out. And if you look at the chain, even the chain has that like iridescent multicolored chain on it as well. So it's a really, really fun bag. It has this almost like lavender leather woven in between the chain links. It does have this little pocket here in the back, I usually stick my phone in there. It's a really good size. So if you open it up, you can see the little loops here where the chain comes out. There's also a little pocket right in there. It's really deep, very spacious. I love how many pockets this purse has, by the way. And then here is another little area that you can open. It has a beautiful CC there and that same kind of lavender purple. And then inside, clearly I've worn this because <laughs> some money in here. How much money is this? $60. <laughs> I would treat myself to a drink after this. <laughs> so it has these two little pockets here. You could put your phone in there. You could put really anything in there. And then in the middle, it has like this skinnier pocket, which I'm really guessing that's for a lipstick, which is really cool. All leather on the inside, really nice. Also here in the front, there's another little pocket. So this purse has one pocket in the back, one pocket here, so that's two. Then it has the main pocket area, three and then another little pocket area in the front for, which is great. I need as many pockets as possible. And it's just a stunning, beautiful, fun bag. Oh, I love it. With shipping and everything, I think it came up to, it was a little under $5,000. Oh, I love it. I can wear it like this on the shoulder. I can also wear it cross body. Let's go ahead and close this. Little snap closure here. And y'all see why I paired it with this look. I mean, it's almost, it's blending, it's blending. <sighs> Sound off below, let me know what you think about my brand new bag from Chanel, my first ever Chanel bag pre-owned new to me and i love her this has definitely opened the floodgates uh because i always said if i was ever gonna buy a chanel bag it would be a very special bag it would be worth that price tag and i feel like this is just me it's me y'all 
So sound off below. Let me know what you think of this bag. Do you love it? Do you hate it? <laughs> ah, it's wonderful. Okay, so now that I've gone ahead and shown you my stunning pre-owned Chanel earrings from Farfetch and my brand new first ever, well brand new to me, Chanel bag. I'm gonna show you guys how I would style them with a few more things that I got from Farfetch. Let's get into a styling video. All right guys, so first up, you can see how well this bag and these earrings just mesh perfectly with this Stella McCartney top and these Margiela culotte denim shorts and my Colt Guy heels. I mean, it's just a look, it's a moment. The blue in the denim shorts really kind of bring out the blue in the bag. And I mean, the CC on the earrings just bring out the CC on the bag. And I kind of just tie it all together with this neutral shoe. So this is definitely a really cute outfit that I'm loving. Kind of building it around my accessories. I think it really works. Let me know what you guys think. Again, I have already linked these pieces down below in the description box. And let's get into the next look. Next up, I paired these stunning earrings and my new Chanel bag with this knit mini dress from Nanushka. Nanushka is like one of my favorite kind of up and coming brands. I think they've been a, really on the scene the last two, three years. Everything they do is kind of trendy. Everybody else starts doing it. I really, really love the brand. This dress is absolutely stunning. It fits me to a T. I'm loving the cutout, the shoulder details. I'm just really into like knit dresses at the moment. I think I, every haul I've done, I've shown you guys a knit dress. And this one is everything. I went with my normal size, which is a US size six, a medium, and it fits really well. I love the color of this as well. It's almost like a lighter lavender. It doesn't have to be the exact same color as the straps on this bag, but I feel like any kind of pastel color really brings the colors out of this bag and you can easily pair it with. For the shoe, I went with the same Colt Gaia shoes and I just absolutely love this look. If you're into this dress, I will link it down below. Definitely go for it. It's amazing, the quality is A1. And usually the price points on Nanushka pieces are really, really good and uh, attainable. So definitely check out the Nanushka brand. I will also link a few other things from them that I'm loving at the moment. So just head on down to the description box and check them out. And last but certainly not least, I styled this bag and these earrings with this beautiful knit, again a knit, blue dress from the brand Anna Quan. Now this is a newer brand that I'd never heard of, but I love their price points on Farfetch. If you're really in to form fitting yet very flattering, very elevated and chic dresses, the quality is amazing. Definitely check out Anna Quan. I feel like the blue in this dress really picks up nicely, the blue in this bag. Really any blue, it could be denim blue, baby blue, sky blue, works well with this bag. I've actually mostly worn this bag with like blue outfits and maybe even my blue Bottega mules and it just works. With this dress, I kind of played up the colors a bit and I went with my blue Bottega Litos to kind of pick up the blue here as well. I could also pair it with my orange Bottegas that are also Litos and pick up the orange in this. And like, it just works. I love the length of this dress. I love the high collar. I am wearing my normal size, which is a US size six. I will link this down below along with a few other dresses from Anna Kwan. Like I said, I had never heard of this brand. Thank you Farfetch for always putting me on to up and coming new designers because the quality of this dress is amazing. It looks fantastic. And all of the other dresses I've seen from this designer are incredible. So that is look three. Sound off below, let me know which look you like the most. Look one with the Stella McCartney top and Margiela culottes. Look two, the Nanushka dress. Or look three, the Anna Kwan dress. I'm also definitely thinking of buying 
the Bottegas, the plain stretch mules in lavender to wear with this as well. Shout out below and let me know if you think I should get those too. I mean, it's my birthday. We doing big things over here. Make sure to check out my edit on Farfetch. It's linked down below. And also to use my code 10YT Monroe, all capital letters for 10% off if it's your first time shopping at Farfetch. Terms and conditions apply, they are down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please do give your girl a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel because a lot of y'all are watching and I'm looking at my little analytics now and y'all watching, but y'all ain't subscribed. So please subscribe so that you never miss a video. Hit the notification bell so that anytime I post, you're notified of a new video. Thank you guys so much for joining me in my first ever Chanel unboxing. And special thanks to Farfetch for sponsoring this video. I will catch you all in the next one. I'm gonna grab this 60 bucks and I'm gonna go buy myself a frosé. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.